Okay, so our next tool here is going to be uh, loft. Okay, so, or sorry, sweep. All right, so sweep is going to be, um, uh, basically you're gonna, this is the first time you're gonna have to use two sketches in separate planes to make a 3D feature, all right? So sweep, you have to have a shape, like a profile, just like we did in the coil, right? So we need a shape that you're going to actually sweep across the line, okay? And you also need a path to sweep through, okay? And you'll see in just a minute what I mean by that. Okay, we're gonna go finish sketch. Okay, so now we can see here that, um, that we have this path, right? And uh, the next thing we're gonna do here is that we're gonna create a, a second 2D sketch that is perpendicular to the first sketch, okay? So basically, if you see here, we have this XY plane. You can see if we made a sketch on the XZ plane that it would be perpendicular to the original sketch, okay? All right, so that's what we're gonna do. So essentially what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a second sketch that's perpendicular, all right? And in this sketch, all we're gonna do is we need a line. Now you can make a spline or something more interesting. A spline will work, curve line will work, any kind of line will work. Uh, in this case, I'm just gonna make a straight line because I know that's gonna be easy for us to do our demo, okay? All right, so there we have it. So notice that we have these two 2D sketches that are like perpendicular to each other, all right? See how it passes through as well? See how the first, the line passes through the other, the, uh, the profile? So they have to be perpendicular and they have to intersect, all right? So we're gonna go ahead and finish sketch. Now we're gonna go ahead and click sweep. Okay, and notice that it gives me my, pro my preview right away, all right? And so basically what we have here is we, if, if it hadn't, if it wouldn't have given us the, pre the preview, it would have been kind of a red flag but we would click our profile and then we click the path, right? You can also on, on a sweep, you can also taper it, and this is a number of degrees. So let's say we wanna taper it 20 degrees. Okay, so notice that that kind of gives us this kind of, you know, effect of making it, um, you know, larger or smaller. We can also negatively taper it, okay? The second thing we can do is make a twist in it. Okay, so let's say we wanna make a 90 degree twist in it or 180 degree twist. At some point it, it will error out. Okay, and we can go ahead and click okay. Okay, and that's a sweep right there. All right, so basically it's repeating a shape along a path. And in that we have a couple of options for what we can do with it, all right? Okay, so there we go. Amazing. All right, so, okay, so that's the sweep.